Hello friends, welcome to the Mayuri Code Hub. I hope you all are doing well and today's video is gonna be about how to develop a console application of grocery management system using core Python concepts. So let's get right into the video. So friends, here I opened the main code script of, script of the project. So for this project, I have used the PyCharm Community Edition 2021, which is one of the best Python IDE. So it provides various tools and a uh, uh, good interface for the users and uh, you can also uh, use this for python as well as web development then data science and machine learning coding so here you can see it provides a uh, interesting terminal in which we can execute various commands and the changes will be applied inside this directory only and uh, here are the python packages uh, which shows the install packages inside this uh, directory and then uh, it also provides the python console in which we can also execute various commands so let's move to the code of the project so first i have imported the file tts xt of library then uh, i have also import the customer login and admin code files then uh, here i have uh, declared one list and inside this there are various lists uh, so it contains the id of the product then name of product then uh, quantity and the price so like this then uh, I have also used text feed text speech feature uh, in this project so the message uh, which is welcome to Raj Lakshmi grocery store will be sounds up when we run the project and here there is one function which is banner containing the Raj Lakshmi grocery stores and uh, three choices which is for admin customer and exit then uh, here we execute this message for the sound up and then the message 3 which is please enter your choice will also be sound up for the users then it prints enter your choice and if we enter one choice then it goes to the admin section and uh, then if the choice is 2 then it goes to the customer section and if the choice is 3 then it exits then now uh, let's move to the first to the admin section so here uh, i also import the pytdsx3 library then import the product list then there is a uh, same function banner which displays uh resolution grocery store by default and the choices for the admin then uh, admin can view the products then add products then remove it and exit then the display all function which displays all the products from the list and uh, then i execute the text speech uh, library then admin phone there is a function which is uh, execute first of all these to chair to log in the admin so first it asks for admin user id so we have to enter the user id and password which is uh, admin and password is raj lakshmi at the rate 10 so we have to enter uh, only this username and password without uh, without this username and password we can't log in so then it shows uh, admin login successfully and also sound will come that is admin login successfully and then uh, the banner will be uh, called which is here so all these choices will be displayed for the admin and then it asks for enter your choice then you have to enter your choice then um, if the choice is one then it display it calls the display all function and display all the products then if choice is two then uh, it asks for enter the product name then product price then it uh, appends this uh, enter product name and price into the list and it shows that product added successfully and also sound will become the product added successfully then uh, else it shows incorrect username and password if uh, admin fails at the login then if choice is three then uh, it which is remove product then uh, it asks for uh, entering admin id to remove sorry item id to remove then uh, here i have used the pop function which removes the items from the list then it shows the item has been removed on the screen and also sound will be from uh, that item has been removed and if choice is 4, then uh, by default it breaks and uh, admin exits. So this is all about admin section. Then uh, in the main code, if the choice is 2, which is customer section, then it goes to the customer section. So let's see the customer section. 
so for generating the bill i have uh, import the date time on library so i can view the products which are uh, entered by admin then buy the product then uh, remove remove the products from his cart then uh, shows order details and uh, last one is exit then the display all function which displays the product to the customer then uh, here i have uh, used the order summary function uh, parameters are bill name and list here the list is product list so inside this uh, there is uh, bill for the customer first it is shows the date time and now it means it shows today's date then the customer name and the purchased items of uh, this customer then the total amount and the task tax amount and the total cost and last it prints thanks for shopping visit again and also sound will come that is thanks for shopping and um, so the here is uh, after the banner it shows enter your choice and if the choice is one then it display all the product and if choice is two then the customer can buy the products and also he has to enter the how many products he want to buy and the we have to enter the item id also then uh, it appends i enter item ids into the new list which is buy list which contains only the products inside the cart then the total amount is then thanks for shopping with us then if the choice is three then for removing the product from the cart and if the cart list is empty then uh, it shows your cart is empty and also sound will come your cart is empty and if uh, the customer can easily remove the products from his cart and we use i use the pop function and then um, the total amount will be on display after this choice then the choice number 4 to display the final order bill to the customer then if the cart is empty then also it shows your cart is empty please purchase some product first and after loading to the same sound will be come then uh, otherwise it shows your final order bill and call the function order summary and if choice is five then it exits the customer by printing the thank you for visiting our store so this is all about the grocery management system project so here i insert the output welcome to raj lakshmi grocery store so the sound has come the welcome to raj lakshmi grocery store so these are the first three choices which is admin customer and exit so i want to for admin you have entered in admin section enter your admin id so i id is raj lakshmi admin enter your password and the password is raj lakshmi and the it in admin login successfully so here the admin now has been successfully logged in so these are the choices for the admin so admin can view the products so i enter one for display the products so first by default we have these products inside our the list then uh, this chicken for add products so i enter two and the product name will be salt the salt and the product price is 25 product added successfully so here the product has been added successfully then three four remove the products so i enter the three then we task for entering the item id to remove then now uh, One milk. Item has been removed. So our item milk has been removed. So I will enter one for chicken. So here there is no product milk. Then I press four for the exit. So here we again come to our uh, dashboard, which is uh, displaying three choices: admin, customer, and exit. So now I am entering the customer section. So I enter two. You have entered in customer section. So these are the choices for the customer. So customer can also view the products uh, which are entering entered from the admin. So I enter one. So here we have the products which are managed by the customers. Then now uh, we are here we don't have the milk. So then I enter two for buy the product. 
it again display the list and uh, we have to enter our name here then how many products you want to buy so here i want to buy three products then uh, i also have to enter the item id then i enter two three and four so our total amount is 65 and thanks for shopping with us thank you for shopping with us then again uh, we have three for demo and four for uh, showing order details which is bill then uh, here i enter four so because i want to display the bill your final order bill so here my final order bill is this order summary which is date and the customer name then the purchase items which is rice peas and wheat then total amount tax amount total cost and all this then i enter three and because i want to remove the product from the cart so again i have to enter the admin id sorry item id so here i want to remove the price so i have to enter the three then I price has been removed because our amount is deducted so i again uh, enter four for checking the bill your final order bill so here you can see there is this is all about the grocery management system project i hope you understood this project and if you like the video then don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe my channel thank you